the most Texas country and red dirt, plus the best of Nashville from 90s to now. Baby, right this now. Keeping on going through the motions until there was no hard feeling. Any man on my Valdi Radio. Valdi Radio.net. Good evening. I'm Robert Miguel. Once again, we are coming at you live from the PFS Group groundbreaking ceremony. We just had it here with all the uh, dignitaries of the city of Uvalde. Some fancy pants were here, uh, including the uh, the ma- not the mayor, the uh, the judge, the county judge was here. Members uh, from First State Bank of Uvalde, of course, ownership here with PFS Group, the Uvalde Area Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it was a lot of fun. They were uh, they got the shovels out, they shoveled some dirt, and most of them just left and left us here to have a good time. But we're having a blast here again. Uh, The address is 12 Lou Stroop Drive in Uvalde and uh, broadcasting live here till 8.30 p.m. I'm joined now by someone who's got their kind of boots on the ground in the area, manager of the Crystal City office, Alexandra Segovia. Welcome. I literally have my boots on the ground, guys. Yeah, but you literally <laughs> do. Yeah, how about the dirt out here, huh? Woo! That, that's it's a little nice. intense. I can't wait till they, they get to the office here, and you know we can you know have some grass and sidewalks and whatnot. Um, so I can say I helped build the building. You yeah, you did. I saw you were out there with the shovel, right? Yeah. yeah. You're like, hey man, I I I built that. <laughs> you know, you'd be like, that's good. It's good stuff. So so you're from the Crystal City office. How long have you worked uh, for uh, PFS Group? Uh, I started back in January 2011, so I've been here about Get a little closer years. to the mic if you don't mind, too, so I can 12 and a half years. 12 uh, and a half years, my yep. goodness. Yeah. Almost 13, almost a baker's dozen. Oh, yeah. And wow, man, that's crazy. I love food, so that's cool. <laughs> that's good stuff. And there's great food here today. By the way, good choice. Whoever decided on, on the brisket and sausage, nice. Amazing. Really good stuff. You guys are missing out. Come out. So, so Alexandra, almost 13 years with PFS Group. Um you got to love the job being here that long. So t- tell me, rave rave about why you love PFS Group. Oh, I love them. They're, everyone's family here. Um, you build these long-lasting relationships that you take home with you. Yeah. You spend more time with them than you do your family. Oh, is that like a sitcom, like The Office or something? Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> Sometimes you can't stand them. Just kidding. You seem like the character. You seem like the gym of The Office. Are you the prankster? I would say so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the smart, the smarty butt. You know uh, what I mean? Getting into trouble. Yeah, yeah we we gotta have the fun pot. there. You, yeah. You know, you spend so much time there. You gotta have a little bit of fun. Um, uh, we're there to help, you know, our clients, patients, and you gotta you gotta be happy. You gotta be in a great mood. Yeah. Uh, come in with great energy, guys. That's that's really all we ask for is you to just come in. Uh, we can show you. We can train you. Uh, we can coach you and in, into everything that we do. Um, we just need you to show up. That's it. That's so. fantastic. Well, you seem like you've got a good positive energy and you probably may have a fun workplace environment. Uh, give me an example in the Crystal City office. You got any, any crazy things they'll do like like Taco Tuesday or Lynn oh, Pranks or yeah. what, what, yeah. what, what, kind, what we, kind, give me some inside what, information. Okay, so we're pretty competitive uh, within, you know, the team. So uh, we got top collectors. They get priority parking over there where we're at. Ooh, so nice. So they get parking right in front of the building, uh, which some of us are je- jealous of. You know, not all of us have that <laughs> priority parking, not, including myself. Uh, but we also have, uh, you know, T-shirt Fridays, and and that's pretty cool because you know, you want to show up on Friday kind of casual. casual. Yeah, yeah, for sure, absolutely. Yeah, uh, we you know have lots of prizes, giveaways, and you know, uh, we even do trainings in Houston. So when you're out there in Houston, uh, we'll show you a good time. You know, Houston's fun. Uh, what Astros. happens in Houston stays in Houston. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, it's amazing. So, um, you know, the boss, uh, the Gorski family, they, they treat you like their own. And I think that's that's the most uh, important thing about this place, PFS Group, is that we are like family. It, it really is. Um, they take care of you. You just got to be, you just got to show up and be committed. No, no, give me a, give a shout out to some of your, your work peeps, that some of your favorites in the office. Oh man, there's all of them. I mean, yeah. we even got people. Uh, who, who, to, who's the ride or die? I mean, ride or die is with you over there. You got to have, a, there's a core group that, that's your, that's your girls or your guys. Oh, the OGs? Yeah, the, yeah, I mean, come on, there's got to be somebody, right? The, the OGs, uh, we got Melissa Escobar, she's been there, Courtney Ivy, she's been there from the beginning, and Dick Serna, he's glad that he's not driving anymore. He lives in Uvalde, <laughs> so he's okay. commuting to Crystal City all, the, all these years. Um, we've got, um, you know, Carlos, he's one of them. All we right. got a lot of them right here. Some of them are your uh, fan club right here, too. Yeah, That's kind of cool. Maribel, we got Nicole, we got Jesus. 
Jesus is everywhere. <laughs> man, I, love, gotta love Jesus. Forgive uh, me. Um, but, uh, man, so, yeah, it sounds like you really enjoy your, your job and your people. And, and you've already been saying it here just during this conversation, encouraging people to come out there and just show up and, and work. Um, for, for those who were kind of on the fence, maybe, hey, Mac, I could use a gig. Oh, g- give us a selling point. What, what's what's the, the really cool thing about working for PFS Group that, that you would encourage them to? I think the, the, the really cool thing is that um, – they, the people that you talk to every day, you're talking to people from different areas, you know, not just here in Texas, you're talking to people in California, New Jersey, and Washington, and Florida, and, and all over the map, really, Colorado, Idaho, Ohio. Wow. And so all these different people that you impact their lives, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that, that you would have that impact on their lives, but you do, and wow. they'll, they'll let you know. They'll tell you that you... Um, you, you change their day, you change their whole world. When, when you can work with somebody and exactly. make something work to, you know, to where they're, to help them. they're not having we're... to worry about something right. It That's does. It, it's a big load off shoulders. Yeah. Uh, especially when you're talking about health care and billing, you know, health and finances, those are the biggest things, really, you know, if you think about it, you know, in, in our lives, it's just how much money you have and then how your how your health is affected. So. Oh, yeah. No, no one ever likes going to the hospital, uh, much less paying the bill. So we just try to make that, that process and that transition a little bit easier for them. Um, so it, uh, there's, you know, certain types of calls that we handle, and it's mostly, you know, helping them with their finances, their, mm-hmm. you know, payment arrangements, uh, collecting insurance information so we can have their insurance bill. Uh, it's, it's really simple. You're going to have your good calls. You're going to have your bad calls. I promise the good calls outweigh the bad. Um, it's, it, it really, they really do. They make the- your day. Uh, it sounds like you work for a very uh, cool, compassionate company that's really there to uh, to provide good customer service. You mentioned the bad calls. Of course, there's always there's always that ugly, dark side of it. Uh, how do you personally handle it? Do you just let it roll off your back? Do you, I mean, what's uh, what, what's what's your best advice for those who have a hard time struggling with those problematic people on the phone? Oh, uh, those. Honestly, um, they're just people that are struggling. Mm-hmm. Um, they just want to be heard, and if you just. Um, you show compassion, you empathize with their situation, um, you're kind, and you smile. Uh, I promise at the end they're, they're going to apologize for their behavior. Uh, they're they're going to recognize your efforts, and they're going to appreciate you. And they will they will demonstrate their, their appreciation, whether it's by you know letting you know directly, or they might send an email, they might send a letter, and that turns into more money for you guys, by the way. Um, we do uh, what's called uh, E2 bonuses, exceeding uh-huh. expectations. Um, and that's what we tell our clients that we do is, is that we guarantee that we're going to take care of their patient population. And by doing that, uh, we're going to reward you with money. Well, I'll tell you what, man. PFS Group is exceeding all my expectations just in the short time that I'm learning about your your, uh, your awesome company. So uh, it's been really cool talking to you. Again, we're talking to Alexandra Segovia. She's a manager at Crystal City. Sounds like you've got a, a good, you know, uh, command of, of your business, of your office, and uh, looks like you guys do some great work over there. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we got a good support team. They're all here. Um, I appreciate everybody that came out. Uh, Stephanie, Christy, I didn't mention y'all earlier, but I promise <laughs> I, lo- I love you guys, too. Uh, they're amazing. Um, everyone that came out here, really, Audie, Selena, um, Enrique, even though he left early. Just kidding. Uh, but they're a great group. One final question for those who are kind of thinking about uh, submitting the resume or applying. Uh, what's the inside skinny? What, what, what advice do you have to give to the uh, potential employees? Uh, on on well, how to well, apply? Whether, yeah, whether it's the resume tip or whether it's interview tips. Oh, yeah, just be yourself. Yeah. Um, just, you know, we're looking for somebody that, you know, can uh, knows how to hold a conversation with someone. Uh, can easily just just wholeheartedly give their their dedication to uh, the business. That's all we're looking for is dedication and uh, just someone who will be here and be nice. Be cool, be real, be nice, and uh, get a job at PFS Group. Again, you can go to the website, pfsgroup.org. Contact Robin Camacho. She's a recruiter, and uh, we did it earlier. We gave out her um, her phone number. I'll do it again. Her office number is 713-457-87. Email is robin at pfsgroup.org. Or call Bob the Crystal City office and yeah. ask for Alexandra You can. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can reach me uh, at 281-833-5683. Um, Alex Segovia and and I actually do the interviews so uh, I'll be looking forward to talking to a lot of you guys out there. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing some time and your experience with PFS Group. Okay, we really appreciate it. Again, I'm Robert Miguel. We are live at the PFS Group Grand, uh, the uh, groundbreaking here till about 8.30 so we got a little bit of time left and we're trying to get Rope a few more people in here, but we're going to resume regular programming. We're at Radio.net. I wake up with you guys, I send my day to you guys, and I go to bed with you guys. You guys are the best. 
the most Texas country and red dirt, plus the best of Nashville from 90s to now. It's five o'clock somewhere, going out of style, I was thinking out of style. Uvalde Radio. UvaldeRadio.net. Good evening. It's Robert Miguel checking in one more time from the PFS Group groundbreaking ceremony, 12 Loose Troop Drive here in beautiful Uvalde, Texas. They're getting ready to open up a new office. Should be here maybe early 2024, January of 2024. Right now they just kind of dug the shovels into the ground, took a lot of photos, had the uh, Chamber of Commerce out here and some City of Uvalde dignitaries. A lot of fancy pants were here. It was a good time. And now we're talking to some of the employees at the Crystal City branch, which has been around for, for a bit. Right now I'm joined by Jesus Flores. He's a team lead over there. What's going on, man? Not much. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm having a good time. Y'all brought some good food, so I got no complaints. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm great. So, so Jesus, you're a team lead at the Crystal City office. Now, first of all, tell me the structure. We just spoke to Alexandra. She's the manager over there. So you answered Alexandra, Alex? Correct. I'm underneath Alexandra. So. Okay, cool. So, and there are six team leads at the Crystal City branch. Give, give me an, an idea as to how the management and uh, team leadership structure works there so yeah so it starts with alexander she's a manager there then it goes uh, to the team leads there's mm -hmm. six above us and then there's uh, the csr threes which are uh, senior reps pretty much so okay. they they are under us and we have csr twos that help out with some of the workload and then csr is customer service representative customer service representative Very good. correct and about how many total um is in this office at crystal city oh uh, if I'm not mistaken, we have around 120 to 130. That's a big team. Correct. So yes. if you're 120 people and you're one of six, so roughly 20, you know, well, but minus management. So, um, so maybe 15 people. How, how many? How many under you? I have one team? of the biggest groups. I have 22. Wow. I think it's 25. I have a few people from Houston under me as well. You're kind of a big deal then, all right? So you must be a good, good at your job then, huh? Uh, yeah. You're like, okay, yeah, I'm all right. We'll, we'll do it. Just so, don't, don't say anything to me. So, just how long have you been with PFS Group? Oh, uh, nine years. Nine years. So, yeah. man, the vast majority of the people I'm talking to have been with the company for at least five years, most closer to like uh, a decade. Correct. So, no. you'll be celebrating 10 years pretty soon, huh? Yeah, in about six months. Uh, I moved to Crystal City and a month later I started working for PFS. So, what was it that I guess inspired you to apply for PFS to begin with? Uh, I understand. Uh, I'm a single father, so uh -huh. I know they work with family. They work with you. Work with your schedule. Like flexibility. Flexibility. Huh? Everything that encouraged me to immediately go apply. Now, now, when you say single father, are you like a weekend warrior, or, or do you have like, um, like? primary custody primary custody See, I'm, I'm the same way so i know what you're talking about man yes. it's tough especially uh i would think and we took we i heard you guys joking about this on air that they wanted to get a man's perspective on the air we've been talking to some ladies I, i'm assuming and correct me if i'm wrong but you probably have mostly women working in your office right probably the majority correct yes um but it, it there is a stigma i think with single dads it's hard it's hard because you're ex, you're expected to show up and work and there's uh, societally we get less flexibility than what women are used to getting. Is that, would, that, would you agree with that? Yes, correct. I'm, yeah. I have to be there. I'm looked at uh, yeah. dependable. You're not, you, yeah. If you're not showing up to work, you're not a man. You're not manning up. You're not doing your responsibility, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas, whereas society tends to say women, you know, kids come first, you know, that kind of thing. We get, they get a little bit of a, you know, I, and I'm not trying to sound misogynistic or, or sexist. I think, I think it's just a reality uh, mm -hmm. in society. So uh, you do have, definitely do have a unique story. They're popping the balloons. I mean, it's oh, almost yes. time to go. It's a party. Sounds like Fourth of July up in here. Oh, boy, yes, it does. <laughs> that, they didn't say the fireworks for your 10 year anniversary, man. Oh, um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, I, I love that flexibility for, for a single father. And then obviously you hit the ground running and you're having a good time almost 10 years later, huh? Correct. Yeah. And uh, that's what I love about this place. Uh, most places I won't have work and I won't be able to. Sometimes it's my kid. I can't leave or something. PFS, they work with you and uh, they're there for you. They work with your schedule. They're very flexible. How many kids do you have, if you don't mind my asking? Three. Three kids, three man. Kids. So, I mean, th and I'm assuming they're younger kids. No, my youngest is 13. I no, just had a son graduate. That's still pretty young. Yes. So, wow, wow, that, that, that's... But, but you've been there for 10 years, so you, there was a time when they were some of them were pretty young, right? So Yeah, my little yeah. girl, she's all she knows is Crystal City. Oh, that's crazy. Yes. So, well, it's, it's always cool when you can have that kind of, um, I guess, job um, security. You know, Correct. as a single dad. Um, so obviously the kids must be cool with you working there. Tell me some of the things that are great about working for PFS Group. I mean, they do all kinds of events for us. They uh -huh. 
I mean, Christmas parties and uh, we do events uh, for going out and celebrating with the teams. Uh-huh. Uh, they feed us all the time. They... Alex said that you guys are kind of competitive, or maybe it was. Uh... Maybe it was uh, Selena, but said there was there was some competition. Is there uh, some friendly competition between the, t- the six team leads as to for you know as far as who's gonna maybe have the most success or best numbers, et cetera? Yes, I, I, I do. I know for sure for a fact I do. I'm You're the guy, always huh? pushing my team to like, hey, we gotta have the best uh-huh. numbers, the best. I want everybody to hit bonus. I want. I so want there's bonuses. To... What what do you get? Bonuses, pizza parties, bragging rights. I mean, what what what, yes. what do you what do you do to motivate the team? No, the, the main motivation is. The bonus, like, yeah. Let's let's all get bonus, like cash this. money. Cash money, like, <laughs> that's good stuff. Yeah, and then we play games. I play games with them where whoever wins gets uh, rewarded somehow, uh-huh. uh, so they can know specifics on what they're doing and uh, encourage them to make it easier for them to know what they're doing well, exactly what it, they're working. It sounds like you guys have just a blast working there, and it sounds just like a fa- fantastic company. I'll go ahead and say on record, I think Uvalde is very lucky to have an office coming soon here. Uh, so what what about uh, you, any of you guys in Crystal City considering transferring over to Uvalde once this is up and running? Uh, I'm, you know, I've heard people they want to move or people, rep- representatives that are mm-hmm. currently underneath us that they want to grow with the company and they see the it. opportunity here. So they, they're asking about possibly moving over here and growing with the company over here. So now, I know you guys are accepting applications and resumes and recruiting for the Uvalde office. Um, what advice would you give to a potential candidate that wants to, to get a job here? I mean, it's just pretty much come in and look forward to working to a great place. So it's and look for, I mean, it's, it's a lot of great opportunity uh-huh. in this company. It's a new company, a growth opportunities. And right, everything. yeah. So, no, it, and it really, like I said earlier, I feel it seems like this company is really willing to um, to let you guys advance from within and to, takes good care of you guys. So, man, sure. it's been really cool talking to you again. We've been speaking to you, Jesus Flores. He's a team lead at the Crystal City office, one of six of them out there. And, uh, again, let me go ahead and re- re- recap. You can... Apply online at pfsgroup.org, or you can email Robin Camacho. She's the recruiter for the area. Her email is robin at pfsgroup.org. Call her at the office at 713-457-87, and tell them Jesus, the number one team leader, Crystal City, sent you. And uh, That's man, right. Jesus, thank you so much for spending time with us here on Uvalde Radio, all right? No, thank you. Thank God you bless time. you, man, and your kids, and uh, we're going to get back to some music. Wrapping it up here at PFS Group, groundbreaking ceremony with Uvalde Radio.com.